Hello and welcome back to another video. Today, we're taking a brief step away from the world of espresso so that I can share with you a neat little product I picked up about a month or two ago. Now, when I'm not drinking espresso or Americanos, my next go-to style of coffee is pour over. I love the hands-on nature of the brewing process, the heightened aromas, and the clean, bold cup of coffee that it makes. What I'm not such a big fan of, however, is the cost and waste associated with the paper filters. This is why you'll notice something different about my new pour over cone. The cone is the filter. This thin honeycomb pattern mesh acts as both the filter paper and the pour over cone simultaneously. Now, when I purchased this item, I had a couple of significant hesitations. Would the mesh be fine enough to stop me from getting a gross, silty textured coffee? Would the metal cone introduce any unpleasant flavors into the coffee? And would the cone be a pain in the butt to clean? Well, let's make a cup of coffee and find out. So, question number one, were the holes small enough to stop fines from passing through? Well yes, they were, and in fact, they might even be slightly too small, as I needed to adjust my grind coarser than my usual pour over setting to achieve the same flow rate as with a paper filter. Interesting. So question number two, let's of course talk about taste. No, I didn't detect any ugly metallic flavors being introduced but the flavor definitely was different than the paper filter pour over. No matter how good your process is with paper filters, there will always be some flavors introduced by the filter itself. And of course, that component of the flavor is now absent. Also, because of how fine the mesh is, I almost always ended up with a stronger cup of coffee using this cone, due to the reduction in maximum flow rate. This can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your personal preferences. Noting these two differences from classic paper pour over, the quality of the cup of coffee you're able to make with this cone is very enjoyable. Of course, while still being largely dependent on your grinder and the coffee that you use. Finally, and somewhat disappointingly, we come to question number three. How easy is it to clean? And the answer is that it's a bit of a pain. You need to first scoop out the bulk of the grinds into your compost or knock box, and then turn the cone upside down under the tap to rinse out the rest, spending a decent amount of time rubbing the inside of the filter to dislodge any stuck grinds. I suppose that nothing is as easy as lifting out the paper filter and disposing of everything all at once, but this is a notable and expected drawback to this product design. Is it a deal breaker for me? Not in the slightest. Like I said, I've been using this product for a month or two now, and I love being able to pick it up at any time to make a quick cup of coffee, without needing to reach for a filter paper, worrying that I might have run out, and then getting that slight tinge of guilt each time I throw one away. Also, I've yet to bring this cone camping yet, but that would be another great use case, as you'd have one less item to forget or taking up space in your bag. As always, I'll leave this product linked in the description below, as well as this clever gooseneck pour over pitcher that I used. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, please also leave a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.